Hey guys and welcome back to World of Animals. Today's the day. We're going to stock my 30 gallon tank. I will go to a fish store with my father, buy some fish and maybe some driftwood and some plants and I will put them inside the tank today, so stay tuned. We set up this tank in a past video and since then uh, I let it cycle and now it's completely cycled. It's looking alright at the moment, the plants are doing pretty well um, and we already got some algae growth on the glass and some on the substrate but that doesn't matter it's just it's just a sign for um, the tank being cycled so yeah I think everything looks great the water is clear and when I have all the fish and um, the hardscape I will maybe put in I will clean up the glass so we do a small water change and then acclimate the fish and put them aside we also have got many snails here there are clutches of sn of the snails all over the place and yeah these uh, filter sponges are just in here because <coughs> um, they were pre-cycled so I put them inside here and um, if you do that you bring beneficial bacteria into the aquarium which is uh, always nice for um, the ecosystem inside your tank so right now it's uh, ready for some fish and we will head out and get them I'm pretty excited so yeah so I'm back at my place and what's inside of this box here is absolutely awesome um, here we have some wood and it's pretty heavy um, before we start to acclimate the fish and stuff like that and plant the plants of course we have to wash the wood so I will do that shortly and then you will see what's inside here stay tuned alright it seems like the small piece of wood swims and uh, now I'm kind of afraid that the bigger piece will swim too but it's it's like so heavy uh, I don't think it will swim so but we will see but yeah let's start with the plants so here we have an Anubias congensis or congensis I'm not sure how to pronounce it in English so yeah that's like an Anubias with longer leaves and I I like this look very much it's it's cool <clears throat> yeah um we have some plants for the foreground some cryptocurine um Cryptocarine Valkyrie. Not sure, you can read it by yourself here. Um, the store owner gave me some Java fun too. I will put this definitely, we'll put this on the root and some more here. Um, another one of this Cryptocarine or oh, Crypt. Uh, oh yeah, this one right here, this plant and this is a Sagittaria plantifia filia. I I don't I'm not sure. English is always um, uh, special with scientific names because you pronounce them differently, or actually you don't pronounce them differently, but um, most people uh, from English speaking countries do pronounce them differently so uh, it's kind of difficult for me some more crypts here another one of the small stuff and this one right here and yeah I will start with planting those and tie some of those onto the wood and then I will show you the fish so now I put some plants on the wood. Um, I actually didn't have to tie the Anubia 
on because there was a small hole and I put it inside and it seems like to hold. Um, we got some Java fern on this side and on this side. I have some of it left, not sure what to do with that piece, but I tried um, the piece of wood first to the tank and it won't float. So um, let's put this in and then plant all the other plants. Okay, there goes the Anubia, but we can catch it <laughs> and put it back to its place. And like this, that doesn't look bad. I'm pretty sure if the plants, uh, when the plants grow in, that this will look awesome. Yeah, so let's go for the background plants here. We have some crypts, and I will push them into the substrate on the back side, and I think that will look great too. Like this. Yeah, that's that's okay. Um, we have some more of this crib, but it's pretty small still, so we're going to plant it around the bigger piece. And um, I hope it will grow in well, but this will take some time. So we have to wait. So yeah, now there's pretty much stuff floating around but this will all settle to the ground or get sucked into the filter so it won't um, it won't be there later so now we have some fore and mid ground plants mid ground is that a word and I'm not sure but yeah uh, some more crypts here the cryptocarine Volcari and we will put them over here next to the java fern and that one will that will grow in pretty well I think it's, it's perfect for that spot so yeah I'm really excited about those plants in the future how they will look like they already look cool but it will be even even more awesome in the future I'm pretty sure Now um, this plan will follow, if I get the focus on the name here, maybe, no? Ah, uh, yeah, this one, I'm sorry for not knowing how to pronounce that, but it's difficult for me, okay? <laughs> I'm from Germany and uh, I could pronounce it like it should be pronounced, but that will um, confuse everyone here because it's not, it doesn't sound like someone who speaks English. So we're going to place those here in the mid and the other plants here on the right in the front and we have the other piece of wood left which will go uh, into the corner but yeah it's still swimming so maybe I have to have a stone or something to um, tie it onto but we will see first we will add the rest of the plants so now here we have the tank almost finished um, What's still missing is the other piece of wood right there 
um, because I couldn't find anything to hold it down so I have to water it for a few days maybe it, it will sink to the ground then and yeah I think this tank is looking cool so far we have many plants uh, which have to grow in some days uh, or some weeks but they are looking good I think those background plants are very nice the Nubias, the Java Fern everything in the foreground cool so now let's put the fish inside 